Shoo, shoo, go, go away. I'm, I'm not a free meal, you know. Sorry, mosquitoes. Nice day, isn't it? I mean, it's cloudy. Looks like it might rain. And pretty warm for this time of year, but other than that, it's kind of nice. I've never seen you around here before. Are you new? Oh, we just moved here? That, that explains it. Um, when did you move here? That recently? Oh, well, I guess that explains why I haven't seen you. Do you like it here so far? Yeah, takes a little while to get used to it. I moved here when I was about seven, I think. I used to live in a really, really, really busy city. And I'm talking busy. People all over the place. Traffic in the summer was an absolute nightmare. Especially during um, civic holiday when everyone wanted to go somewhere. Yeah, it, it was... Um, it was chaos, to say the least, but out here it's a perfect mixture between quiet and busy. Not too busy, not too quiet, just right. Mm. So... What brings you here? I mean, this place is sort of small, you know, sort of small town where everyone knows everyone. And you don't really see it on too many maps. Oh, there is a train. <laughs> that just proves my point. It's the perfect mixture of, uh, and there is a squirrel chirping. <laughs> Obviously, I think, or honestly, I think you'll get more nature here than people, but there you go, there's a train. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so what brings you here? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. I mean... When I was seven and I first moved here, it took a lot to get used to. It's not that I loved the chaos of the city, actually. It was the polar opposite. I did not like the crowds. I did not like all the noise. I didn't like not being able to have my window open when it was warm or hot because the noise would just be overwhelming, especially at night when I'm trying to sleep. I'd have to put earplugs in. And even when I went out, I used to have to wear headphones because um, the noise just bothered me a lot. But here it's not so bad. It's like someone took the volume button and pressed it just the right amount of times. I mean, sometimes if I'm feeling a tad overwhelmed, I might have to wear my headphones. Like if I'm going on a bus or a train or, well, not really a train actually. I don't mind the train sounds. Actually, I like train sounds. But, yeah, sometimes I still have to wear headphones, but not all the time.
I mean, I if I had the choice to live anywhere, I would live in a Hobbit house. You know, just like the ones in Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. I'd live in the Shire. Just nothing but fields and trees and rivers surrounding me. And it would be beautiful in the springtime. I'd have a garden. Little window boxes in the windows with flowers that I can water every morning while I look out the window. I'd have a little porch that I can sit on and watch everything happening. The houses are just the right amount of distance apart from each other, but at the same time, I'd feel like I have a close community of friends. Yeah, I'd, I'd try to make friends with everyone. Speaking of, um, have you made any friends here? No. Sort of. Yeah, that's that was part of being the new person in town. You have to you have to put yourself out there, you know, and I, I know that's scary. I remember going to a new school and being absolutely terrified that I wouldn't have any friends. You know, some people didn't care for me, but other people did. So that's why you gotta you gotta at least try. What I would do is I would find something in common with someone. You know, maybe look for you know, maybe they have keychains on their backpack from a show that they like and maybe you like the same show. Or they have stickers on their binders or their books from different movies, shows, or books, and maybe you like the same ones. I mean, I'm personally in a lot of different um, fandoms, as they're called. Uh, I like Marvel. I like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I mean, those are good movies. If you haven't seen those movies, please go and watch them. Um, I like... I like this show on Netflix. It's called The Sandman. It's good, but it gets dark in the later episodes, so... Just warn you. Just warning you. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, you know when you have to think something and then you can't even think about it and you think about it after and you're like, oh, maybe I... <laughs> yeah. Do you like, um, Marvel? Or are you more of a DC fan? I totally get it if you're a DC fan. Batman is pretty cool. So is Superman. Wonder Woman? Don't even get me started. Personally, I prefer the first one over the second. And no, not just because Chris Pine is in it more. I just like the movie in general. Like, I think the story was written beautifully. I think the characters were written beautifully as well. And it had you getting until the very end. Oh, also, there's this other show that you should check out. It's called Only Murder in the Building. It's... At first I thought I would get it just because... Well, I don't know why I would get it. It's got Selena Gomez, Steve Martin, and Short for crying out loud. A true Canadian con. So yeah, definitely went out. Um, what else? What's the house? Okay. Um, what about umbrella me? Or strings? Yeah, it just thinks it's good. It took me a couple of watches to actually like it. First time I tried to watch it, and um, I saw what was happening to the little girl. I was like. Mm -mm. I don't want to see any more of that. 
then I tried again. I watched it with my sons because they'd seen all the episodes leading up to the season that just came out. Like, well, I could try and watch it that bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad at all. Actually good. Cried in a couple episodes. An episode's not good until or a show's not good until an episode makes you cry. That's why I don't trust any of his shows. Yeah. Sorry, itchy head. Three. It's it's like But yeah. Man Man's great. Um Umbrella Academy, awesome. Again, uh, I didn't like the first episode, but once I watched more, I liked it. It was second time trying to watch it. I'd only seen a couple of episodes. Anyway, uh... This is where part ways. It was, um... Really just talking to you. And to know you. Don't worry. In a couple of weeks... You'll fit right. I'll know everybody. It'll know you. And who knows? Maybe you'll make a few friends. I mean, I would consider you my friend. Yeah. Um, do you maybe want to hang out? Maybe sometime after school or work or whatever you're going on? We can even be together. Yeah. That sounds great. Um, do you have a finger? Or media? Also, um, I wish I had a paper and pencil, but maybe I'll, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll find you and, um, Right there, isn't it? On the ground. Very distracted. Um... Talk about <laughs> I'm sorry, I do the time. I have a train of thought just because of the thing. Oh, numbers. Uh, yeah. I'll find you, and then I will just say, Hey, it's me, the person who went on the way home school. Ah. Awesome. Uh, my name by the way. Nice to meet you. I'll sit here, okay? okay.